Hello and welcome to another edition of HCISD Spotlight. I'm Colin Galoon and with us today in the studio is Dr. Mado Pettis from UT Health in Brownsville who's going to talk to us about the MEND program and what it's all about. Well, Dr. Pettis, my first question for you is how long has the MEND program been in effect? First, thank you for hosting us, for having us here. Absolutely. We really appreciate it. And um, the MEN program, we've been running the MEN program through the UT School of Public Health for four years now. Um, in, the Brownsville, in the Brownsville area, mostly San Benito and Los Fresnos. Just recently, just last year, we started working at, in the Harlingen area. So um, it's been, uh, we, uh, to this point, we've served 1,900 kids in the Harlingen area. We've served um, 130 of those 1,800, 130 are here in Harlingen. We'll, but we plan to offer, um, continue serving um, children here in Harlingen. It's amazing. So after the 10-week program, uh, after you guys go through that, what else is offered? So once the kids graduate from the program, we call it graduation after they finish the 10th week, um, they receive some vouchers to continue um, working out. Um, they can go to gymnastics class or capoeira class. They receive a few vouchers. And they also can rejoin MEND, the exercise portion of MEND, where, wherever we have it um, being offered in whichever school, they can come and join. There's also a website, it's called MEND World. And through the, the, that website and through a little box, uh, we give them where they can track their, their progress and they can link to they different places. They can kind places. of stay up with it. Yes, so we, um, the MEN program offers that as well. That's excellent. Um, so the, when talking about the MEN program, what's kind of the main things that the MEN program consists of? So um, the MEN program, um, the word MEN is an acronym for the M for mind, the E for exercise, the N for nutrition, and the D for do it. So what our program mainly is, um, we target mind tricks, the mend part. We teach kids and their parents to make better, healthier choices. So um, we talk about, for example, um, making them realize that our first reward, like when we offer a reward to our children or when we ask for a reward, most of us ask for a reward that has to do with food. Yeah. So like if they got a good grades, you give them a candy or they get a uh, ice cream. So we want to change that. We want to make we want to make them conscious and make better choices. Maybe the reward is not food. Maybe let's go out of the park. 30 minutes, maybe it's let's go skate, maybe it's let's um, go biking, some, something like that. So we're trying to change that. And also making better choices when they, when they go to the cafeteria, when they watch um, TV commercials, be more um, critical about what they're watching um, and set goals, set what we call smart goals, that they're specific, they're measurable, they have a, an end date and a start date. So all those things are in the mind part. Then the exercise, every time we meet, the children get to do one hour of exercise. The exercise is a very active play, non-competitive. Um, everybody has to be active and no one is better or worse. They're all playing together. The, the third letter is the N for nutrition. One of our main components is this, this um, nutrition part where, we're, where every time we meet, we learn things about nutrition. Um, we learn to differentiate between um, healthy snacks and unhealthy snacks, what we call men friendly and men unfriendly. We talk about refined sugars and unrefined sugars. We talk about fats. We talk about reading food labels. We visit the supermarket. So all these things we're, lo we're learning on the nutrition component. And then the, f the last word is do it. The D stands for do it, which is that's what we are. We're motivators of change. We believe that the best way to reach a healthy or live a healthier um, life, I mean, till you're old, is through um, prevention. And mm -hmm. when better than when they're children, when you teach them these lifelong skills to make better, healthier choices. That's fantastic. Um, so do you find that kids uh, who follow the healthy information, do you, do you find that they follow up with that after the program that it's had like, you know, an impact afterwards? Yeah, so, so we, we do surveys at the beginning of the program, then we do surveys at the middle, at the 10 weeks when we finish the program, the intensive part, and then after the six months to see um, how, how things are going. And yes, the changes are, they peak at 
the, the 10 weeks, Absolutely. and then they lower a little bit at the six months, but they don't reach the, the But you low always part. see that progress. Yeah, that progress. And um, the, the, our target measure is something we called quality of life. Mm. Um, and all kids, like uh, we, our target is for kids to improve at least 7% their quality of life. And we do reach that target. On average, all kids, after going through our program, they, they, they change their, like, their quality of life improves. That is how they perceive um, how well they can run, they, how they perceive socially, how they can interact with other peers, um, how they perceive their feelings, or like if they're angry, sad, like all that improves after the 10 weeks and after the six months. Yeah, there's something really similar with that. My mother's also in nutrition, so whenever she, um, she's a dietitian, so whenever she follows up with people, you know, there's always that, um, there's always that monitoring of like if they've been eating the right yeah. things, if they've been doing the activity. So yeah. that's, that's a very important yeah. part of it, absolutely. Um, so when you look at these, uh, the kids that you're trying to affect, why is the target age like six to 13? So MEND is a research-based program and that's wh how it was designed. It's, it targets children aged six to 13 just because how it's designed. And we believe that after 13, it's a whole different ball game on the way you have to approach the children and, and the activities that you do with them. At age six to 13, it's not that we're we think they're exactly the same, but the activities are similar. They can already write, they're independent, they can go outside and play w in a structured, um, um, cared for environment where they're, they're being observed and guided. But it's, it's, an, it's just the research behind the program that we chose. Yeah. But um, it doesn't mean that ch younger children are not um, welcome in the program. We welcome children from the age of two years old um, to 13. Mm -hmm. um, over 13, we don't accept, we, they can come, but they, they do not fully receive all the perks, like the t-shirts and the water bottles. Um, they don't receive all the perks, but they can still receive the information and participate on the activities. Yeah. Um, so how can people go about getting into this program or get more information about MEND? So at this point, um, we're serving the HCISD school district and we're offering classes at different schools. We're offering one at um, Travis Elementary, Austin Elementary, Lamar Elementary, and we're offering one at Keys Academy. Mm -hmm. Um, and in April at Rodriguez Elementary. But all this information is in our Facebook page. Um, you just access it through MEND RGB and the calendar is there for the classes. We, we're gonna continue to offer programs, one in the summer and in September, an, another batch of programs. When participants join the program, they receive um, t-shirt, a book in English or Spanish, they receive water bottles, they receive um, a backpack, and every week we raffle um, uh, like balls, uh, jump ropes to make it, we want to promote activity, but also to promote uh, program participation. And at the end, we raffle a bike mm -hmm. to those children who, who follow through at least half of our program, like 10 weeks out of the, tw 10 sessions out of the 20. So um, you receive a lot of tangible things, but most importantly, you receive lifelong skills mm. to uh, live healthier life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, again, I want to thank you so much, Dr. Pettis, for coming in and uh, talking with us today. Well, that's going to end it for this edition of HCISD Spotlight. Uh, be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, I'm Colin Galoon. Thank you Great. so much. Thank you so much.